Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the mesenteries. What are the mesenteries? Mesenteries are bilayer peritoneal force derived from the dorsal mesentery that attaches the viscera to the posterior abdominal wall. So, what are the functions of the mesenteries? They allow movement of the viscera. They act as a conduit for the passage of blood vessels, nerves, and lymphatics. They also contain fat. Components of mesenteries. We have mesentery for the jejunum and ilia. We call it the mesentery. Mesentery for the transverse colon. We call it transverse major colon. Mesentery for the sigmoid colon, we call it sigmoid major colon. Mesentery for the vermiform appendix, we call it major appendix. So, here, what is the mesentery? The mesentery is the mesentery for the jejunum and ileum. This is a fan shaped double layered fold of peritoneum that attaches the jejunum and ileum to the posterior abdominal wall. The mesentery has a task border, also called root of the mesentery. This is the attached border of the mesentery. And it has a free border that has the coils of intestine. Free border. The atlas border is extending from the duodeno jejunal junction, the level of the lumbar vertebra 2, to the right iliocolic junction at the level of the right sacroiliac joint. It has free border 20 feet, atlas border around 15 centimeter. Free border contains the jejunum and ileum. Okay, so the root or attached border of the mesentery crosses the following structure like the third part of the duodenum, the abdominal aorta, the inferior vena cava, the right ureter, and the right swast major muscle, not distinct here, right swast major muscle. Okay, so these structures are crossed by the root of the mesentery. So, this is the root of the mesentery extending from the duodeno jejunal junction the at, the, at the level of lumbar vertebra 2 to the iliocolic junction at the level of the right sacroiliac joint here. Okay. We are also looking here in this image the sigmoid major colon here. Here, close to the ureter at the pelvic brim area, bifurcation of the common iliac artery to the internal iliac artery, next to iliac artery, and it is closely related to the swast major muscle. Here, one link, the right link, goes to the level of sacral vertebra to left link passes along with the swast major muscle medial side. So that is the sigmoid major column here this is the root of the mesentery okay the root of the mesentery contains the superior mesenteric vessel nerves and lymphatics sigmoid mesoclon contains sigmoid vessels we'll go to the transverse major colon connects the posterior surface of the transverse colon to the posterior abdominal wall it crosses the second part of the duodenum, had an anterior border of the pancreas. It has anterior layer, anterior layer, and also the posterior layer. Anterior layer of the transverse major colon fuses with the posterior layer of the greater omentum, forming the gastrocolic ligament. It contains the middle colic vessel nerves and lymphatics. So, 
this is the site of posterior attachment to the transverse major column. It suspends the transverse column that has not been shown here, but this is the attachment that is shown here. We got sigmoid major column connects the sigmoid column to the pelvic wall, inverted V shaped attachment at the ureter, the left ureter, and bifurcation of the common iliac artery. There's two limb usually, the one is the right limb and it's left, left limb. Contains sigmoid vessel. We have seen in our previous image the sigmoid major column here. This is the ureter, bifurcation of common iliac artery, and one limb going to the sacral vertebra, two, and another limb passes along the swast major muscle. Extend along the source major mass. Okay, it contains sigmoid vessels, sigmoid artery is a branch of the inferior mesenteric artery. Major appendix, another mesentery. It is the appendix for the. It is the mesentery for the appendix. It connects the appendix to the mesentery of the ilium. So this is the major appendix. It contains the appendicular artery. There is a branch of iliocolic artery. Okay. So, content of the major appendix is the appendicular artery. And that's all about the anatomy of the mesentery. We have to give emphasize the intestine, especially jejunum ileum, has the mesentery that. Uh, the transverse colon has transverse major colon and the sigmoid colon has sigmoid major colon the appendix has major appendix we have some ligament connecting the two structure these are a lot of them are peritoneal folds double layer fold so we have ligaments connecting the viscera viscera to viscera or the viscera to the wall of the body and that's all about the anatomy of the mesentery if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends and please support me please subscribe me and have a nice day bye now